e-farm as a social enterprise. Even though we consciously did not start e-farm in order to do any social good or uh, we didn't have any background in social service, uh, we realized that when you start an industry like this, uh, touching agriculture and uh, people from such a wide background, uh, a lot of them uh, below the poverty line, we need to be a little sensitive and a little bit more caring about what their needs are and often uh, as i mentioned in the earlier videos it is not about money uh, often they need assistance at the right time and also when we started the company we realized that nobody wants to work in an agri startup uh, which is the same position which a farmer uh, is also in so we had to be innovative and a little bit creative so uh, some of my first experiences itself I saw some people uh, who were uh, uh, differently able but very very confident. Uh, I can remember one uh, uh, doctor who used to come uh, uh, walking in the beach uh, even though he, were, he did not have uh, uh, legs but he was extremely confident and uh, he was from Germany and he was talking about uh, the kind of opportunities which are there abroad and even I have experienced uh, uh, when I was in US a lot of people who were uh, visually challenged were uh, they could very easily go in buses and all that whereas in India it has been a big challenge for people differently able to get uh, right jobs. Uh, my very first experience was when people came into my office they were all uh, trained in computers they used a software called JAWS uh, so that way they were able to read email browse internet and do pretty much everything which I would expect uh, somebody to do and I was quite surprised and we started uh, giving opportunities to people who are visually challenged uh, in our call centers and uh, incidentally my PA, uh, both my previous one and the current one are both visually challenged but uh, they take care of all my emails, all my communication, uh, they take care of all the calls uh, in the office and slowly we started uh, giving opportunities to people with other uh, uh, skill uh, uh, issues as well and we also have uh, co coordinated with a lot of other uh, NGOs uh, who work with uh, mental disabilities and also autism and all that we have tried to engage them in different uh, activities because uh, one interesting thing about the agri sector is there are so many different tasks like for example cutting and sorting weighing and loading and there are a lot of uh, these kind of uh, small uh, labor tasks like even for a farmer uh, like weeding and planting and seeding you don't need very high uh, skill levels you don't need very high education levels you only need people with the right attitude uh, right motivation to work which is what we look for and uh, interestingly people with uh, differently able come with such fantastic uh, motivation such focus that often it's very inspiring to see them uh, and often uh, whenever I uh, feel a little down I look at them and for uh, uh, inspiration and uh, sometimes feel like hey if, if he can do it I should be able to do it at least 10% uh, of what he is able to do. So rather than uh, look as if as some kind of messiahs trying to uh, help them it is actually they who is helping me and they who is helping us do better. Uh, so if you walk into e-farm office don't be surprised if you f find people who are uh, you know, who may not have a leg or who uh, have speech impaired but the thing is we don't look at the what they don't have we start looking at what they do have what they can contribute at the end of the day you'll suddenly realize that there is nothing normal we all think we are normal and they are different but at the end of the day nobody is perfect and uh, that is why uh, we'd like to emphasize that you know whenever you get an opportunity start looking at people who are differently able uh, to give them a job opportunity. We fully uh, encourage that and if you uh, have anybody uh, with good skill sets feel free to refer them. We are looking at adding people to our call centers and BPO's uh, especially uh, for people with different labeled people and even otherwise uh, we are trying to add labor pools where farmers uh, uh, desperately need labor support in their farms and we are trying to create labor pools which can go to villages and assist the farmers during key stages like harvest and uh, seeding stages and all that. So that way we feel that uh, a social impact uh, is not a, a separate activity by itself or something which uh, needs to be a philanthropic angle. It's just uh, they are also part of us. It should be a way of life rather than trying to see it uh, any distinctly different from what we normally do.